Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, brothers and sisters, this is uh, chapter 7 where we'll discuss the, the financing practices of Islamic banks. Uh, if you look at uh, con <coughs> conventional banks of financing practices, it is quite sim simple because it is uh, just a loan. The bank for home financing, for car financing or personal financing, they will... Uh, give loan and then they will charge interest. While in Islamic finance we have diversity, there is creativity. For because uh, Islam uh, prohibits interest, therefore Islamic banks, in order to have profit, they will uh, they have developed different kind of mechanism. They must involve with trading, but there is buying and selling, or uh, there is uh, musharaka or ijara contracts. So. Uh, I will just uh, share with you uh, some uh, popular uh, Islamic banks uh, financing mood, uh, but it's not uh, not all. Okay, so the first, uh, the most uh, popular one, however, this is uh, not the most popular right now. I would say now Tawarruq is uh, taking the position of BBA. So the BBA by Bitaman Ajil Home Financing, uh, it is the most uh, prominent, or it was the most prominent uh, financing mood in Malaysia. So, what is buy bitaman ajil? Buy is sell, bitaman in ajil is a saman is a price, ajil is a deferred. So, sell with a deferred price. So, it is a, just a sale contract where um, um, usually the bank will sell something uh, to, uh, to the customer at a deferred payment. Okay, so that is uh, the buy bitaman in ajil. So, uh, it is uh, sometimes it involves by murabaha, but mostly uh, it also involves uh, by ulina or sell and buy back. Okay, so usually in this process, the bank uh, will f finance the customer to buy the house. Okay, and so it is not a loan. Okay, it is a financing. There is buying and selling. So how it works? Uh, we can see here uh, there are three. Um, uh, we can see there are okay three parties here: the customer, who is the uh, home buyer here, the customer, and then the seller, okay, and the IFI, the Islamic Financial Institution. So here, the customer, the um, okay, the uh, the home buyer, the willing home buyer. So at first he will approach, uh, he will approach the developer, the seller. So the developer sells house and a home buyer pays a deposit to the seller. So the home buyer will pay, um, will pay deposit, let's say 10%, and then the seller will, um, um, okay, uh, sell the house. So now the house is owned by the customer, but the customer has to pay, let's say, the balance, the 90% of the house price. So in order to get this 90% uh, of the house price, the customer will, at stage two, the customer will sell the house to the Islamic financial institution for the amount that the customer requires, which is the 90% of the price. Okay, so <coughs> the uh, the customer says how to I5 for the cost of financing to settle the balance with the developer. So now the customer will sell the house to the uh, financial institution. Now the financial institution becomes the owner of that house. Then the financial institution will, uh, will buy back uh, that house again to the customer with a cost plus profit. Okay, so let's say if the customer sells the house to IFI is uh, let's say nine hundred thousand. So the IFI uh, Islamic Financial Institution maybe sell back with uh, maybe profit of one hundred thousand. So let's say one million. Okay, so the customer immediately you can see here number three customer immediately buys back the house. Okay, from the IFI, including the IFI's financing and its profit margin as a deferred payment. So usually, let's say, is for 30 years. So then at the end, okay, so now uh, the house again goes back to the, the customer. He will be the owner. And then, okay, the customer has to pay 
uh, that 1 million, let's say, is on 30 years, okay, on installments. That, okay. And then the customer also got the cash because of the first sale contract. So that cash, the IFI will directly pay to the, uh, the seller or developer instead of paying to the customer. So this is how the uh, BBA home financing works of course there are some criticism okay because of the the buy will ina uh, therefore financing institutions they are moving to to tower Rook home financing okay uh, but for the tower Rook home financing uh, the the house it's it's not the subject matter however in bba home financing the house itself is a subject matter there is a buying and selling Okay. The customer will, here we can see, the customer will sell the house to the IFI for cash price and then the customer will buy back the house for a cash plus profit uh, with a deferred payment. Mm, so this is, uh, of course, the Sharia issues a lot. We will not uh, focus on that. Uh, I'll focus on how the, the, pra uh, the practice of uh, this uh, BBA home financing. So this is a debt-based financing where there is a buy, sell on uh, profit and with uh, a default uh, price. And um, so here the financial institution will get profit okay, from the uh, uh, sell on profit on default payment and the customer also can fulfill his need of getting cash to, to buy this house. So this is how the BBA home financing works. And, uh, and then with the BBA, there is another uh, very famous home financing, which is called a Musharakah Mutanakisa Home Financing, uh, which is uh, which was uh, popular in Malaysia, but right now it is uh, not in practice. But it is practiced in uh, still in many countries in the Middle East. Uh, so, what is this uh, Musharakah Mutanakisa Home Financing? So, Musharakah uh, Mutanakisa, okay, Musharakah means. Uh, partnership share and mutanakisa is a diminishing but it's a partnership where one partner will gradually buy the share of another partner and then that uh, partner will gradually lose all of his shares so this is called musharaka mutanakisa is a it's a partnership where one partner will gradually the own the, the whole uh, share on the asset and then there is an element of ijara ijara is lease Okay, so uh, in this uh, concept, okay, Musharaka Mutanakisa, the buyer, uh, the home willing home buyer, and then the, uh, the financial institution, the IFI, they will buy an asset where uh, the IFI will have 90% share and the, the customer will have 10% share. And then after they buy that house, the customer will... Um, uh, Okay, after they buy their house, the IFI will lease uh, the house, the 90% share of the on the house, the, the IFI will lease to the customer. So, every month, the customer will pay the rental and the customer also uh, will buy, a, some, uh, buy some portion of the share of the IFI. So, at the end of the day, uh, the customer will buy all the shares of the IFI. Okay, and so what is the profit for the IFI? The profit for the IFI is from the from the rental price. So how it works here? You see here the cast financier and the customer. Okay, so they both own this house. So here the custom uh, the financier will pay ninety percent, and the customer will pay ten percent. So this is a joint ownership. We call shir katul milk. So in this joint ownership the bank will pay 90% and the customer will pay 10%. So, uh, on, at the first stage, they have uh, done it. So, at the second stage, okay, the financier will lease. Okay, lease this asset to the, to the customer. So, the customer every month will pay the monthly, uh, will pay every month the monthly installment and also purchase uh, the share of the financier. So at the end of the day, uh, the customer will be the 100% owner of the, of the asset, of the house. So this is how the Musharaka Mutanakisa works. So this Musharaka Mutanakisa is, uh, it is, um, uh, I would say, uh, better from the Sharia perspective. Okay, uh, 
um, there, there's no issue on that. Uh, okay, and then Musharaka Mutanakisa, the rental price can be changed. It is flexible. So if uh, the interest rate changes or maybe if there is um, the market price changes, the financial institution can adjust the, the rental price. So that's the good thing. However, in Malaysia, the Musharaka Mutanakisa uh, was, not, uh, was not practiced by most of the bank because of the risk. Okay? You, uh, as we have learned in our second chapter that uh, financial institutions need to keep some uh, uh, reserve for, for against the risk and Musharaka Mutanakisa is, is risky uh, and especially when the customer defaults uh, there are some uh, problems uh, for the financial institutions to, to get back uh, the, the financing because this is Musharaka and mus Musharaka is something which is not um, uh, where we cannot force the another partner to buy the share okay and uh, in Musharaka um, uh, any partner can actually stop the, the Musharaka at any time so here if in financial institutions uh, in this financing if the customer stops the musharaka at the middle so the financial uh, the IFI will be in trouble so uh, there is no uh, okay so that's uh, mm, there is no uh, princi uh, there is no restriction from the sharia to to force the customer to fulfill the uh, the Musharaka contract. However, there is one mechanism where the IFI, they use Wa'ad or promise mechanism where the customer will pro promise to the bank that the customer will buy the share of the uh, house uh, and uh, and uh, the customer will promise that he will fulfill the, the Musharaka. So with the, that mechanism, they, try, they have attempted to, to minimize the uh, the risk. Uh, however, still the application of what still triggers the uh, the Sharia issues. Uh, so because of that, um, uh, uh, the, this uh, Musharaka was not practiced by most of the Islamic banks in Malaysia. However, uh, I would say the Musharaka is is better from Sharia perspective and also uh, from an economic uh, perspective as well because. Um, uh, While well, BBA is a debt-based financing, then Musharaka is a, is a, an equity-based uh, financing. So with the Musharaka, we have another important uh, financing. Is, uh, okay, so mus both Musharaka and BBA are for home financing. So if we look at uh, vehicle financing, okay, to buy any transport, uh, so usually the conventional banks, they have a concept they use called higher purchase. Okay, so it, uh, that is a contract where um, uh, they, they combine uh, lease and purchase. However, the Islamic alternative for higher purchase is al-ijara thumma al-bay. So it is a ijara is a lease contract where uh, at the end of the lease period, the, the IFI will, uh, will sell the vehicle at a nominal price or sometimes the IFI can give the vehicle as a gift. So this is how the ijara thumma al bay work. So there are differences between the, the conventional higher purchase and ijara. So we see first how it uh, works. So in this ITAP operation, there are uh, two stages. The first stage, the executing of the contract of lease, this, uh, the ijara. Okay, the bank will buy the vehicle and then bank will lease the, uh, the vehicle to the customer. And then after the customer pays for the lease for let's say nine years, so after at the end of nine years, there will be a sale contract, okay, at stage two, okay, uh, the, the, um, the IFI will sell the vehicle to the customer usually at a nominal price. Okay, so at, this is the first step, financier and the supplier, okay, they buy this asset, this tractor, okay. Uh, so the financier is the the financier uh, is the owner. The financier will uh, uh, sorry uh, at the first step the financier will buy this asset from the from the supplier. So financier is the owner. So at the uh, step two the financier well, the IFI will lease this asset to the uh, to the customer. Let's say for for nine years. Okay. So the customer will be paying the. Uh, the lease for, for the rental for nine years. So at the end of nine years, at the step three, okay, uh, 
the financier will uh, okay, do will sell the this asset uh, to the to the customer usually at a nominal price or it can be as a gift as well okay uh, or it can be market price so this is how the 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 ijara uh, thumma al bay work so uh, so what is the difference between ijara uh, thumma al bay and conventional hire purchase in conventional hire purchase once you sign the hire purchase contract it is uh, the uh, so according in the conventional law con, uh, hire purchase contract they combine the sale and uh, hire together so once the customer signs the contract so the car is considered sold to the customer and uh, the lease rental is a debt on the on the customer but in islamic uh, 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 hire purchase in ijara at first the, the, the uh, ijara and at the end of ijara there will be sale so there is a difference okay so during this ijara lease period the bank is the owner of the asset so the bank has to bear the maintenance and according to the recent guideline of bank negara the financial institution must bear the maintenance costs okay for the ijara asset so the finance uh, the customer will not be the owner however maybe for for registration purposes so under the jpj it, it, the car will be registered under the name of the customer but uh, the, there are other legal documents to prove that the bank is the owner of the vehicle and then at the end of the ijara period then there will be a sale and purchase agreement and usually the customer will promise uh, there is a wa'a the customer will promise to to buy the asset at the end of the lease period or sometimes the financial institution will promise that at the end of ijara if the customer pays uh, the rental on time the financial institution will uh, either gift the asset to the customer or to uh, um, sell on uh, by a nominal price so this is how the vehicle financing works and then with the vehicle financing the personal financing also very popular uh, okay, so personal financing usually for short term, and it is it is an unsecured financing. It is not uh, there is nothing, uh, no collateral uh, or no security taken for for personal financing. Usually for getting married or to buy car accessories for tuition fees, okay, and for some household needs. So in Malaysia, the uh, the most popular contract used for personal financing are uh, by Ulina and uh, and Tawaru uh, financing. However, I will show here uh, the Ina based uh, personal financing. So Ina is by Ulina is a sell and buy back. Okay. So uh, the in intention of the customer is to get cash. So when a customer needs cash, uh, at that time the customer will approach the financial institution. And uh, the financial institution will uh, will sell an asset to the customer on default payment basis, okay? And then the financial institution it will buy back that is asset from the customer at uh, cash price, okay? At cash price. So uh, with this transaction, usually the customer will get cash, but the customer has a liability. He has to pay uh, uh, the the price of the first sale contract uh, the this okay the price of the asset on installment okay so as we know the buy will ina also is viewed uh, as a, as a hila okay so it is it has a controversy as i mentioned before so uh, tawaruk is introduced um, to to facilitate this transaction uh, so uh, i would say tawaruk is uh, better and with the introduction of busa malaysia so the commodity market they are doing uh, uh, I think better from Sharia perspective. So let's see how the by Ulina works. So let's say Mr. Kasim, he needs 10,000 cash to pay for his uh, son's overdue son's tuition fee. So if he applies for Islamic personal loan and the bank looks at his credit standing and credit score, suppose the facility is approved uh, with full amount and 7% profit, the bank will ask for five years. Okay. So here, at first, the bank will sell an asset, any asset, okay, let's say, to Mr. Kasim at a price comprising of the cost price and profit. So the cost is 10,000, uh, okay, so profit is 7%, five years, it will be 3,500. So the contractual selling price will be 
10,000 plus this 3,500, so uh, 13,500. So uh, this 13,500, Mr. Kasim will pay for seven uh, for seven years. So if uh, for sorry for five years. So five years. If we divide by 60 month, is 200 and $50 per month. So the bank at first, the first contract, bank will sell an asset with uh, cost plus profit. Okay, now the uh, Mr. Kasim is the owner of the asset. So Mr. Kasim will uh, sell back that asset with a cash basis, uh, okay, on 10,000, okay, on cash basis. So immediately, the uh, Mr. Kasim will sell the asset to the bank at 10,000. So what is the consequence of this contract? Mr. Kasim, he got his, uh, his need, his 10,000 cash, and bank also can get his uh, ob objective to get a uh, profit. Okay, so to, to illustrate further, you see at first bank, the original owner of the asset, sell the asset to the, to the customer with cost plus profit, 10,000 plus 3,500 the profit. Okay, uh, for deferred payment, which will be paid in five years. Now, customer is the new owner of the asset, okay, because he already bought it. So, the customer will sell back that asset with cash price, and the cash price is 10,000. Okay, so with that, the customer will get the 10,000 from the bank. And so, he can fulfill his needs, but he has to pay uh, 13,500 in, in five years' time. So, this is how. Uh, the buy ulina works okay where two party however tawaruk is uh, is a new mechanism where the four parties uh, are, uh, are involved okay where using the commodity uh, murabaha suku sila okay so that uh, is uh, say better uh, where the real asset is used uh, there was an issue with the buy ulina sometimes the real asset was not used and this transaction was very fast, okay, and we can see the ultimate intention was not the buying and selling, but to get cash. So that actually triggered the, the Sharia issue. So these are the most uh, popular contracts uh, that uh, I have uh, discussed in Islamic uh, financial institutions, mostly for home financing. There is uh, Tawaruk, BBA, and Musharaka Mutanakisa, or sometimes they use Ijara as well. And for vehicle financing, there is uh, mostly use uh, Ijara or sometimes uh, Murabaha is used, which is a uh, sale um, um, on profit and personal financing using BBA. So, other, so these are the most popular financing in Islamic banks that I have discussed. However, there are many, uh, many types of financing. Okay, there are uh, like uh, say, say cards, uh, credit card, and others where they have they use uh, different concepts, and also there are uh, trade financing for export and import uh, businesses. They use uh, trade financing concepts, and also for for uh, uh, for corporate customers, banks also have different uh, type of financing like working capital financing and others. However, uh, these subjects uh, focus not much on the financing uh, so we will uh, stick to only this and also Tawarruq um, and the details you will know further in another subject which is a deposit and financing operation of Islamic Bank. So with that uh, I thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.